ça, 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 il vous peut, 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 le so tata make lui be bon we have different delicacies from our soups to our local dishes so everything you can think of from ofo nubu to ofo and salad to okwa everything i know that we always we have different delicacies that are very very much what you like in me lia in ami chaka like everywhere you go they celebrate as i know looking at the person eating this dish so today i'll be talking about mpobi like we all know mpobi is a mixture of cow legs and pepper and palm oil you like the mixture it looks like a it looks like porridge jam and a bowl of porridge jam so when you come to the eastern part of nigeria like every restaurant bars you see all this you see that still specific preparing your delicacies and it's very rich as well in building of your bones it also helps in waist loss like so you see i like i rather didn't feel like to feel free so today i'm talking about a cold beef but before I start, normally I'm going to wash my hand. Like I have such a kind of fuma fuma. I keep going on onion, everything, everything, palm oil. And we have to prepare the sauce well because where where you get the taste of this import is preparation of the sauce. Once you get the sauce well, everything is going to balance well. So today is about the enjoyment like. You can come and join you. The, 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 that the dish is very, very good. Like, you know, I can't even name the name Chaka. You know, you know, like, it's so good. It's so good. Like, look at it now. Okay. You know, the name Chaka. It will always have palm oil. Where, eh? This palm oil to balance the pressure of the whole thing. Like, everywhere we don't balance. You may have very, very new organ. Like Epotan and Igbo, when you go to different bars, different restaurants, like you see them prepared, you see big, big men coming to eat. And you'll be wondering why I do a jilly this stuff. I do the ordinary FLA, ma, but all the ceramic plates in packaging it. Mama, this like to make it look so um, cultural, like culture wise. That's why we use this small mortar, like to package it. So when you go to our big restaurants in the eastern Nigeria, or even some other parts, I don't know about other parts, but it's still like you see that is how they do it for you. And when it comes out, like it's so mouth watering, like in the India, in Ami Chaka, like you can see it now. So you prepare the sauce, cow leg, crayfish, pepper, palm oil, like everything will balance with. And this stuff has a lot of nutritional values, like it helps in weight loss, it helps in building up the hemoglobin, like. It helps you a lot. You'll be wondering, but if I have a rubber you I'm fucking it. I have a rubber lane, like all oh, the dog, and like I said, like you guys get money to afford this food. So, in my next post, I'll be talking about another dish. Like, stick with me to know about this dish and know the reason why it's very common in the Eastern Nigeria. Thank you. Acha Ibu, well, well, please, well. So that today is another episode of Eri Meri Ndiwe So that now is when we are to Eri Meri Like Eri Meri Julebe Ndiwe And then Eri Meri are there now represent our culture Like this delicacy represents our rich You know the Igbo culture is very very rich Like today I am talking about Abacha Which you know is the African salad And we know how much watering Abacha can be like When you are eating Abacha You just remove your cap that will move the cap in the air, but because we are not a child, we are not a child. So, Tata Maka Bacha, and if you are a Bacha, it's called cassava flakes. Like, after you really shredded the cassava flakes, you keep it aside, then Cabo Baka or Baka or Tazi Azo. It will tell back, it will tell Bacha, it will tell Bacha. You mix the pot here with palm oil, like you mix everything with palm oil. Then you start putting your tazi, your baka. You can put fish, meat, anyone you prefer, like anyone that goes for you. You can put it, but I'm starting to go with the fish as you. So I'm going with the fish. Hello, from I need to prepare your bass, onion. Like you know, onion is very, very nutritional. Like it has a lot of nutrients. On our satchanya and abubanya, like we put the anya. 
have garden egg also tell you that this delicacy is very very rich like it has a lot of nutritional values so tata bumaka abacha ah Hmm. Telling you, the good delicacy is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And this dish will be sit in many, many places when you go to events. Like when you come to even the streets, you see people hawking at Bacha. The ones that are already prepared and the plain white ones. Like when you go to events, traditional marriage, white wedding, burial, funeral, like you see them prepare a battle. Like it's a food that is well known in the Eastern Nigeria. From Anambra to Enugu to Abia to Ebony to all different parts of Igbo land. Like this is a very common delicacy. It's seen everywhere in the Igbo park. So I'll be seeing you guys in my next post. Keep stories with Afa Mobu Ebuka. Afa Mobu Ebuka. I'll be coming back with more, more, very, very, indeed. So, till I see you again, bye. Hey guys, so this is Hangout with Fidel, and I am back with amazing content on lifestyle, beauty, entertainment, and fashion. So are you ready for this conversation? Like, are you ready for this conversation? Because a lot of us get, like, we, we drop when things like, okay, rebranding ourselves or being so positive about our growth. When it comes up, like, you feel withdrawn. Do you know there's a life after school? Like, after school, you go into the labor market, like, you have a lot of competitions coming here and there. People are graduating every year. Thousands of people are coming out of the university every year. So, why not equip yourself for what you have ahead of you? Imagine in school, having this consciousness that, okay, after school, I have things I have to do. Like, I have to acquire and equip myself for the labor market. And this entails getting a skill. Like, getting a skill is very, very important. It's very, very, very important microblading, web designing, graphic designing, lots and lots of them. Because imagine you going for an interview and probably don't include it in their working, their work, whatever. Okay, now they say they need somebody that is skilled with digital um, graphic designing or so. So imagine you now out of your peers or out of people that came for that, um, for that interview, you're the only one that have this skill. It gives you an upper hand above all that. Like, ASAP, you get the job immediately because one, you have been equipped for the labor market. Two, you have what they are looking for. So, I urge people in school, like I always urge people in university, try and rebrand yourself. Try and get a skill that once you are done, sharp, sharp, what would they call you? Like, keep getting work, sharp, sharp. So, the other one is work experience. Like, work experience is very, very, very important. Imagine some people now when they have breaks in school. I have a friend, whenever she has a little break, too, she goes to all these media houses to get equipped, to get experience that she needs for the labor market. Because imagine some jobs in the description you have, you see two years working experience. When you have that kind of experience, sharp, sharp, you're already employed. So we should be aware, like, we should have this consciousness of like, there's a life after school. So why not just equip myself? For the life ahead of me why not get that skill why not just be positive about my be conscious about my growth to be better to be a better version of myself so i urge all of us like there's a group i am in the guy always tells us be skilled like get a skill so that after school you can use it to to help yourself financially because sometimes it's not even your degrees that get to the jobs you desire is your skill what you have learned the experience i've been able to gather over the years so imagine you now you work you you can design a website and immediately you see people start calling you you won't forget that you won't have a degree you start using that skill you learn to end so that's why it's very important for people in school to have this consciousness in them that there's a life after school 
so it's not only about going to classes it helps a lot because once you're educated it gives you this mindset of how to plan yourself but at that so you're supposed to have other packages to make yourself a hot cake don't you want to be a hot cake like everybody wants to be a hot cake in the labor market like when you present your cv or more you get the job asap so this is still what hang out with fidel and please thank you to my new subscribers like i see you guys and please don't forget to comment like and subscribe very very important that's officially very very important so please subscribe to hang out with fidel and please for those of you that just view it's just something that takes you not less than two seconds just click on the subscription button and you subscribe immediately please and uh, please follow me on instagram at fidel Brewer. yeah yeah follow me on instagram so peace out see you next time i'll be coming back with hot gist really hot so peace out Thank you.